Hi, this is your host, Sapni Bhartia, and welcome to 2023 Predictions Series. And today we have with us once again Fabian Prom, co founder and CTO of Loft Labs. Fabian, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks a lot for having me. Nice, nice to be here. Yeah, before I ask you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions with us, tell us a bit about the company. Loft Labs is essentially about empowering developers uh, to take back control over the developer environments. Um, as well as reducing cluster sprawl, uh, essentially, of Kubernetes clusters. So we have a couple of open source technologies uh, for doing that, which uh, is on the one side vCluster, which is an open source project to uh, create virtual Kubernetes clusters uh, within physical uh, host clusters uh, that are a lot cheaper um, and a lot easier and faster to set up than uh, actual physical clusters. And on the other side, we have DevSpace, uh, which just got accepted into CNCF and is now a CNCF sandbox project um, that helps developers to essentially leverage the power of Kubernetes for their uh, applications. And on top of that, we, we have Loft, which is our commercial offering uh, that brings all this together uh, in a platform uh, where yeah, platform administrators can essentially uh, compose those developer environments uh, in a central um, yeah, uh, interface. Excellent. Uh, thanks for uh, talking about the company. Now it's time for uh, for you to pick your crystal ball. I don't know if you have clusters of you know, uh, crystal balls, virtual crystal balls, or physical crystal balls. Tell us what predictions you have for us. So my first prediction is uh, essentially that Kubernetes adoption will uh, increase uh, as well in 2023, I guess that prediction is probably kind of obvious. Uh, but I think uh, besides the, the yeah, increase of, of uh, adoption, I think also the cluster sprawl problem uh, will increase where people uh, and, and now new teams want to get access to Kubernetes. Uh, and as a corporation, you will need more and more Kubernetes clusters which will be become a bigger problem in 2023 uh, than it was maybe before when uh, yeah, companies were still trying out Kubernetes and not uh, kind of yeah, rolling it out uh, to the whole organization yet. So my second prediction is that Kubernetes will become more popular in the, uh, uh, in the developer space where um, more and more developers will transition essentially from regular Docker desktop or even, uh, uh, so, sorry, Docker Compose or even uh, yeah, like, like regular local development into uh, the Kubernetes space. They will be more exposed towards Kubernetes um, and eventually also pick up more tooling around how to develop with Kubernetes uh, in, in the next year. And the third is I think that we will see more radical experiments in the Kubernetes ecosystem uh, in terms of projects and in terms of also scope uh, of, of things that try out to break off Kubernetes just being the uh, kind of like orchestrator for containers. I think we will see more projects uh, like vCluster or even KCP that try to kind of reuse only certain parts of Kubernetes, but kind of like build things that are not in the original scope of Kubernetes, but um, kind of are very useful to solve other use cases. Thanks for sharing these predictions. Uh, can you also talk a bit about what is going to be the focus of the company in 2023? So our focus will be uh, definitely on our open source projects. Um, so we want to, to get vCluster to version one uh, and make it finally uh, stable. Um, I think we've tested it uh, for a long time now and yeah, a lot of yeah, customers and uh, other users are already using it in, in even production environments. So our goal for the next year is definitely to get to that version one with vCluster. Um, where we say we think it's it's ready for production use, ready for uh, yeah actual use uh, in on a larger scale. Uh, besides that, we are heavily focused on uh, yeah creating more and more integrations for vCluster because we think 
that is ultimately where virtual clusters save the most money by reusing already existing services of the underlying host cluster. So we will yeah, build more and more integrations there in the next year. And besides vCluster on the dev space, as I mentioned earlier, we've been accepted as a CNCF sandbox project. So one of our focus there in the next year will be to transition uh, to the CNCF uh, and uh, also essentially make it easy for everyone to get started with their space, integrate easier uh, into existing uh, IDEs, um, extend the current functionality in terms of pipelines and yeah, build tools and so on. And yeah, make, make it easy for every developer to get started uh, with DevSpace. And for the commercial platform, we try to bring um, yeah, more cost savings than already to the table. So that means uh, more integration, centralizing of certain vCluster components to reduce cluster sprawl uh, across the company even further. What are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023? And which are the ones that you see Loft is going out and help customers and navigate through these problems? So I think one of the challenges for the next year will definitely be finding the right abstraction for developers um, in terms of how they would interact with Kubernetes. So should they have direct access to Kubernetes? Should they use a tool in front of Kubernetes? Should they just interact with a pipeline uh, that kind of shields them from Kubernetes completely. So I think this is a, is, a, is a challenge that I see in 2023 where we don't have like a standard yet, but this will become an important problem for I think many companies that try to uh, essentially want to bring their developers uh, to Kubernetes. And besides that, uh, I think also one of the uh, bigger problems uh, that now emerge will be how to run multiple clusters uh, of Kubernetes alongside without um, essentially having to manage those all individually um, and, and kind of yeah, making sure those clusters are all in sync, are all managed uh, uh, yeah, centrally and, and can be exposed than to, to developers or, or teams of developers. Fabian, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course share these predictions. I didn't tell you in the beginning, but we are going to have you back again in 2023 and also compare how many of your predictions uh, came out uh, true in, uh, in 2023 uh, while we are getting the next set of predictions for 2024. But I didn't want you to be under any pressure, but be aware for the next time. So thank you and see you next year. Thanks a lot for having me. See you next year.